Hello everyone, Ryan here, aka Ride or the Banisher, and in this video I'm going to be going over some UI settings to help make your gameplay a little easier and a little more user friendly. So stay tuned and let's get it. So I'm standing here in front of an NPC and another real player, and it's really hard to see their names by the default UI, correct? So if you push escape and then click on the settings tab, from there, you can click on nameplates, and the top setting under that tab is called nameplates. Turn this on, and now you can see the NPC is a stable master, has the green name above his head, and the player also has their name above their head, as well as the title they have selected shown. You have my word. So this setting makes it so much easier to find NPCs in towns, as well as players and player names. Okay, the next important setting. Again, push escape, go to settings, and under the combat tab, you'll see this heads up display section. And then you're gonna go to ability bar and set this to always show. Now you can see your ability bar at all times and what skills are on which slots, etc. This is very helpful in building that muscle memory from viewing in-game fights to clicking a specific button on your keyboard or mouse, so it's a very helpful. Okay, next go back to settings and back to the combat tab. And the next thing I want you to change is the attribute bars. Again, turn this to always show. Now you can see your magicka bar, the blue bar, your health bar, the red bar, and stamina bar, the green bar. And this simple setting change simply gives you a visual aid so that you can see when you're getting low in either your magicka or stamina or if your health starts to dro drop before you die. Okay, next go back to settings and back to the combat tab and then go down here to the ultimate number and turn this on. Then go up just a little bit to resource numbers and change this to number and percent. And now you can see exactly how much health Magicka and stamina you have, whether it's 20,000, 30,000, etc. And also, if you have an ultimate slotted, it will tell you how much ultimate out of 500, which is the cap that you have, and the percent of how full your ultimate is. Okay, lastly for the combat tab, go back to settings, go to combat, and then scroll all the way to the bottom, and under the buffs and debuffs section, where it says all, change this to always show and what this does is it shows you your long and short lasting effects above your health bar anything from mud stone etc so if i eat food here it shows me what type of food it is and how long i have left anything like your vampire your werewolf your mud stone your eso plus all of those things will show up here if you cast a spell that gives you a minor or major buff, it will also show here as well. So you can see the timer and it helps you to manage your buffs a little bit better. Okay, next we are going to go to settings and then down to gameplay tab. Scroll down to the bottom and under items, we are going to turn auto loot on. Now this is more of a personal player preference, um, but I like it on for those quick looting of bodies and chests, etc. But it's totally up to you. If you like to see what you're looting each time, you can leave it off. Okay, again, go to settings and under the gameplay tab at the very bottom under items, the prevent stealing placed items. I turn this on so that I don't accidentally steal an item. Uh, but if you do a lot of thieving, etc., um, you can leave it off. It's just a personal preference again. Okay, next under settings, we are going to go to the interface tab and at the very bottom under performance, turn on all three, frame rate, latency, and the position lock. And what this does is you can see in the bottom left of my screen, it shows my FPS and my ping rate or latency. And this is especially helpful in Cyrodiil PVP for seeing those large lag spikes uh, to hopefully avoid a crash or uh, if you're waiting for your master merchant to ring in on your initial login etc so it's just helpful information to view okay next let's escape and go to settings and under the social tab under notifications 
turn off leaderboard notifications and this will get rid of those pesky notifications when one of your friends beats Maelstrom Arena or something. Okay, the next two are pretty much player preference, but if you don't like random duel or Tales of Tribute invitations, you can turn these off here as well. Um, I enjoy doing that kind of content, so I leave them on, but again, that's totally a player preference one. Okay, scrolling down from there, another handy setting in the social tab is being able to change guild chat colors. So if you are in multiple guilds like I am, then it's nice to be able to distinguish and make it easier by setting a specific color for each guild. So that makes it very nice. Okay, one that I almost forgot, but if you go back to the social tab in settings, this is where you can find the profanity filter here. By default, this is turned on to block swearing and stuff like that, which is nice. Uh, but if that kind of stuff doesn't bother you and you want to see what guildies or friends are actually saying that's not blocked out in chat, then this is where you will toggle that off. Well, that's it for this video, folks. I hope this helped make navigating the UI a little easier and helped make your gameplay a little more user friendly. So thank you so much for watching. This is Rydor. Out. UI family. I got all my settings with me. Uh.